And we are rolling the ball up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. And across the knuckles. And let's put it in the both palms, interlace the fingers and squeeze. And let go and squeeze. And let go and squeeze one more time. And let go. And let's go around the back. And switch. Switch direction. Switch. 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 And through the legs. Switch. 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 And drop the ball on the ground. So, how the feet are feeling. Make a note of how the ankles, knees, and hips feel. Step on the ball right in the middle of the foot and press down three times. Throw up to the knuckles, press down once, going across. Roll it across the knuckles. Bring the ball down to the top of the heel, pivot on the toes and roll across the top of the heel. Press down just below the first knuckle. And then at the side of the top of the heel. And then over at the middle of the fifth metatarsal. Roll down each of the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, and recess. Go to the other foot, press down three times. Up to the knuckles. Roll it across. Roll across the top of the heel. Press it in the three spots. Roll down the bones. And a scribble. Good 
three, two, and one. Let's get the ball out of the way. And start the week off with some wood chops. Seven through the middle, seven on either side. And come up and shake that tree. Three, two. One, center, a deep breath and twist at the waist, swing in the arms. And center. Ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out together in starlight. Center and gather from the other side. And center, two breaths. We march in place. All jog. So today we're going to do the um, legs, glutes, and core routine on floor. Well, it's a um, stationary squat in the beginning, but if you want to do rapid squats, I think that'd be fine. I think I'll just uh, sprint today. Um, whatever you do, including doing exactly what you're doing, be safe. After class, we've got some rolling. I'm going to start. 
in five, four, three, two, one, two, three. One and thirty. Nice deep breath. One more. Interlace the fingers. Raise the hands up over the head and reach for the sky. And back if you can. Come back to center and to one side. And then the other. Back to center, slowly lower the hands down to the chest and push out. Come down, interlace the hands behind the back, raise them up, squeezing shoulder blades together, go a little higher. Come on, back down, form that W, squeeze together, and release, squeeze, and release, squeeze, release, two more, squeeze, release, and squeeze. Extend the arms, rotate. And the other direction. One palm is down, one palm is up, flip flop. You can do this Saturday. I know, I got letters and cards and calls. And put one arm across the body, pushing in at the elbow. And then the other. First hand behind the back, pressing down. Other arm. Grab the elbows and rock side to side. Extend one arm, fingers up. Pull back on those fingers with the other hand. And then the fingers down. And flop. Pressing down just Pressing uh, in just above the knuckles. And let's do it to the other hand. Up. Down. Up. 
and flopped. And let's shrug. No, let's not shrug. What am I doing? Let's rotate the neck. Other direction. And nod. And go your two shoulder. Tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. And look up. And down. Over one shoulder. And then the other. Let's do a side lunge. And then the other way. Come up, bring the feet a little bit closer together and hinge at the waist, dropping the hands, unlock the knees, stretch the hamstrings. Come on up. Turn to one side, try to push that back heel into the ground, stretching the calf. And the other way. And let's come up and grab a stick. We're gonna do the EFI toning bar routine. So we'll put the stick behind the back aligned with the spine and move it up and down. And then extend the arms and rotate at the waist. Switch the position of the hands behind the back, up and down. And extended and rotating. Bring the stick in front, shoulder high, and do 10 bicep curls.
switch the position of the hand so the palms are facing out. Drop the stick to below the waist, hinge at the waist, keep the head back, and then just come up. Hinge and come up. Do that 10 times. And then hinge again, stay there and bring the elbows up past the rib cage 10 times. Come on up. Bring the stick back to the shoulders and lift it up overhead. And then keep it at the shoulders and push it out. Drop it below the waist again, and then lift the elbows up to the shoulder height. Keep it there and flop the wrist 10 times. Put it to one side, grab the top or near the top and swing behind you 10 times. And then the other hand. And finally, put the stick in front, right in the center. Hold on with one hand or two hands or just a uh, fingertip, whatever is right for you and come up on your toes. And then back on your heels. Toes. Heels. Toes. Heels. Toes. Heels. Toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. Toes. And heels. And let's put the stick down. And Get ready for legs, glutes, and core. So we're going to start with 
a stationary squat, you wanna spread your legs a little bit further than shoulder width apart and put your feet at a 45 degree angle, It'll enable you to get down lower. If you can only get this far, that's fine. If you can get down further, try to keep your heels on the ground and hold. We're just gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Point the uh, toes forward and you wanna hinge. So again, keep your head back, your spine neutral, like we just did picking up the stick. Just be very mindful of keeping a straight line there. You can unlock your knees and just hold. And then go forward into a pike and hold that. And then come down on your knees. Your palms of your hands should be beneath your shoulders. We're gonna lift the knees off the ground for 10 seconds. Ready? One, just an inch, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll come down. Then go out onto your forearms. Your elbows are underneath your shoulders. And see if you can come up from your toes for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and come down. We're going to go on the back. Hands are by your side, palms down, or behind your head, whichever you find easier. Soles of the feet are on the floor, and we're going to do some windshield wipers. Just move the knees in unison back and forth, left to right. And then stop, extend your left leg so that it's flat on the floor. Grab your right knee with your left hand and bring it over the extended leg and put your right hand straight out and pull that right knee towards the floor. Then extend your right leg, bring your left knee across the right leg with your right hand and pull that right leg towards the floor. All right, come on back up. Your feet are off the ground in a 90 degree position. Your arms are straight up and you're going to bring your left hand and right foot back to the floor and up. Left foot, right hand and up. Right foot, left hand, up, left foot, right hand, up, left hand, right foot, up, right hand, left foot, and up. Holy smokes, where does the pen go? Let's roll around and do four cat cows. 
We're on all fours. Palms are underneath the shoulders. Tuck in the chin and around the back. And then arch the back and look forward. And a cat. And another cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. And cow. All right, let's get up for breath work this week. Uh, very simple exercise. Dan Brule, who has um, been doing breath work for like 40 years and has written a book incorporating a lot of different styles and techniques that he's picked up over the years. And he also um, has a um, group uh, that gathers breath workers from um, all around the world to uh, demonstrate their techniques. Uh, always does one thing before he starts um, any program, and it's a very simple. He breathes in and lets it go. So let's just do four of those. Breathe in deep as you can. One. Two. Three. Four, and we're rubbing those hands together, cultivating chi. Forming a chi ball. Feeling that energy flow between the palms. So we let the chi ball dance us. Wherever it wants to go as the weight shifts from one channel to the other, like water flowing. And center to breasts. And let's open our hearts. Pause and send that out. Centering two breaths. And bring it down, heavenly chi. Go down, gather up. Yeah. Namaste.
Thank you, Tom. Hey, you're welcome, Nina. Thank you, Tom. Okay, Mira. Take care. Hello. Hey, Richard. Miriam, hi. Um, Uh, yeah, rolling, rolling, rolling. So we're going to get a ball and a roller. And I'll meet you on the floor. So done this before, but not for a while. What you want to do is put the ball under the muscle that's at the side of the hips at the top, right where the crest comes in, really a crest, and roll until you find the tenderest of spots. Use your elbow and your other leg to modulate the pressure if it's too much. But when you find that spot, lean into it as best you can. On the pain scale of five to 10, maybe you wanna be at a five. Don't kill yourself here. And um, breathe into it. And then you might want to just move that leg back and forth at the knee. Four or five times. Roll it around a little bit more. And then let's come up and do the shoulder. Put the ball right under the shoulder joint. Same thing. Roll it around. Looking for that tender spot. And when you find it, breathe into it. And again, you might want to just move the arm back and forth, the elbow. Four or five times and then roll again around the shoulder. And we'll go to the other side. Starting with the hip, medius medius, all right, rolling around, oh, there we go, leading in, relieving the pressure a little, pushing up. Leaning back in as it dissipates a little bit. Breathing into it. And then flexing the knee. Rolling around. Uh, 
and then moving up to the shoulders. Mm. This is my bad shoulder. Ah. There we go, right there. Gonna hold. And flex it to elbow. Roll a little more. And come up. All right. Let's get the roller. We're going to do the spine. So we're going to sit on the end of the roller. So it goes lengthways up the back. <laughs> Yeah, this way. And you want to make sure that your neck and head are on the other end of the roller. Your knees, your soles of the feet can be on the floor, or if you can, extend the legs and roll back and forth, just finding your center of gravity. Catching yourself with your elbows. The forearms. And then come to a halt. And raise the arms up. And then behind. Up and forward. One. Two, three, four, and five. Keep them up here and then come down and up. Two, you're wrapping your shoulder blades around the side of the roller. Five, let's do seven. And finally, bring them into a W and squeeze those blades into the shoulder, two, three, and release. Squeeze, two, three, and release. Squeeze, two, three, release. Squeeze, release, and one last time, just hold it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. All right. That should do it. Hope that felt good. Tom, it didn't feel good. It felt great. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you had me worried there for a second. You got me. <laughs>